What's up folks, this is Jasper Fox making yet another YouTube video. Um, this is my second chain video, um, writing part 2. Uh, this video will focus on the next step that I had in writing, that I do in writing it, step 2, as I stated in the previous video. Um, this will focus on, like, once you have your basis, then you can start with the actual writing part. But you have to... Excuse me. You have to be aware of where you're going. With that <clears throat> you need to have. We well, need to make sure everything's together. You need to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Now let's start with the beginning. Once you have the basis, like what kind of story you want to write, then you can start with this, and that will lead you into multiple directions. <clears throat> Because once you have where the source came from, then you can focus on the kind of genre you want. Like, say you're just walking down the street and you just get an idea for, uh, like, a sitcom. Or, like, a, uh, like, just a regular kind of thing. And there you go, you have the genre of naturalism, and it's just everyday life. <clears throat> Mix in some uh, then you have the humor and the studio audience, you have a comedy. Sitcom I believe. That's the time for it. And then you can get started on the writing part. Now here you need uh, several things. <laughs> Before we get into this, you need to, uh, sorry. You need to have punctuality. Grammar. It's basically like proper wording and proper um sentences, whatever, and basic literacy, so that people can see what you're trying to say, as in you can spell it, you yeah. know, how you're trying to say it, like how you're trying to say it, and what you're putting together to form the sentence. And that's all basic, that's just basic things, with literacy, it's simple, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like the T, H, E, W, H, W, H, W, A, L, L. <laughs> That's the title that I thought. <laughs> uh, but then, once you have the grammar, do you know what kind of sentence you want to make? Like, then you can make a proper sentence. Like, here's what I'm talking about. Like, say... My name is Jasper Fox. I'd write it like this. This is how you'd usually write it. Like, my name is Jasper Fox. There you go. And you'd say it like this. My name is Jasper Fox. M Y N A. You know. <laughs> And then, of course, with punctuality, there we go, now the statement. My name is Jasper Fox. Now, if you really want to add a little bit of humor to it, you could just say it like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there, you can make it look like this person saying, My name is Jasper Fox. So you have a comic, and you just make it. The person is in the right image, like... And there you go, you have that one thing there. And, uh... Then you have your sentence, and you can go from there, and you can start on. And now we start with the beginning. Well, with what I was saying before, the beginning. At the beginning of a story, you need to know how to get the reader's atten like the reader or audience's attention. Like, just get whoever's looking, just make sure you have their attention quick and easy. 
But unfortunately, it's neither quick nor easy. Because in order to get the attention of the reader, you have to actually reach out and grab that attention for yourself. Once you have that, well, you also have to know what gets their attention. Like, what do the people want to see, read, or hear? Now, usually, for my stories, I try to be make it exciting. But you know, my I usually write action, fantasy, adventure, stuff like that. But if you want to make it like that, you have to make sure that it's um like it grabs enough of the reader's attention that they want to continue the story, and not just give up. Because if you shoot for too little. And the reader will lose interest, and you'll just be like, uh, they won't want to continue. It's just, it's just dead right there. There's no beginning, middle, and end. It's just from here, and then it's dead onwards. But however, there's a reverse to that. Start too high, and like you start the action too high, you give it too much grip, too much pull, too much thrill. And the readers will be excited to read, yes, but then the rest of it will suffer. There will be a beginning, middle, and end, but you know, just be like beginning, yay! Oh, that's the rest. You know, just be like that. So you have to make sure that it grabs just the right amount of attention. So and you know, if you. <laughs> Like, like I said before, too little and you'll just be, like, three will lose interest, they won't want to continue, it's too boring, like, but, however, too much, and it's like, That has happened before. Like, before I started writing, I read the Mortal Instruments series. And City of Bones, City of Ashes, and City of Glass, those three books were great. They had a beginning, middle, and end. But when they continued, like, and Cassandra Clare continued the series, like City of Fallen Angels, City of, uh, uh, of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire. Once she continued there, at book 4 I actually started to lose interest because it wasn't as thrilling as the previous ones. But that's the problem, because once you end one series and try to continue another in that same... Like, once one... Like, say, uh... Hmm. Like, say, you know how TV shows always have that main issue. The main thing... Thing... At the beginning. Eventually, like, this is the beginning. Then it moves on to the end of that series. However, they try to move on with seasons. They create a new season, so they have to find a new topic, a new issue to discover. Like, what is going on now? What happens next? They try to keep it going. They did this with several TV, sh TV series that I watched. And as well, like, the only ones I watched the most was Chuck. Starring Zach Levi, Yvonne Strahovski, familiar actors, at least those two are familiar to me, I didn't know the rest. And, uh, well, except seriously, anyways, moving on. The first season was great, because it was talking about how Chuck had the intersect in his brain, and he wanted to get it out. And then they moved on to the second series, which focused on the enemy called Fulcrum, who wants the intersect out of Chuck's head, but for their own purposes. And then the next season, they have the ring. Chuck has the intersect 2.0, and he can fight. But after the ring was disbanded, then they moved on to season 4, with Volkov. Volkov Industries. And that was great, but it started to suffer a little bit. But, you know, it still held. And then, on to season 5, where it just focused on Chuck new company, Carmichael Industries. And, you know, that uh, didn't do so well for me. 
I uh, didn't finish. But, like I said, the beginning is where it all starts. That's where the most interesting things happen. You need to know that, and then you need to move on to the middle, which I will discuss later, because I am running out of time. <laughs> this will be in the next video, step two, part B. <laughs> And I will try and get back with you. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I will be back next week, hopefully, with that's like with the next step. And uh, we should have some fun. This is my second chain video, so yay! <laughs> uh, I do appreciate it. And that's all I got. This is Jasper Fox signing out. Bye, guys.